fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. This is Jared Parry for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined by European title challenger Tyler Denny. Tyler, how are we? All good, all good. Nice to be here, man. Nice to be here. We've got to talk about your journey to here. You have waited and waited and waited for a British title shot. Never came around. You've just jumped straight over. Opportunity knocks. Matteo Signani, European title November the 18th. How delighted are you that you're finally getting a chance to get a big title? Moving on for the English title. Yeah, I was, I was sick and tired looking at English title, and um, you know I had some good defenses with it as well, some good good names and good records that I took, and for that not to get me the British, it was a uh, I don't know, I, I couldn't make sense of it to be fair, but I'd do it all over again if it means me getting the European title on Sky in Wolverhampton as well. So buzzing with it. Got to talk to you about that. Like, coming back to the Midlands, you know yourself from Rowdy Regis. The last fight you had in Macaulay McGowan was back in Birmingham, you know, boxer going back there. How good is it to bring some, being so high profile fights on big cards back in well, Birmingham and the Midlands? Yeah, it, it's massive and I think I've done good tickets last time as well. I think I'll do even better here. Yeah. And it's, it, I can't even get enough for what people are asking me, like, because the venue, it, it wouldn't fit as what, what I can get. But I think the Black Country is going to be out in force, man, it's going to be good. You see, we've got to talk about your opponent, Matteo Signani, very experienced customer, been pro to 2007, 41 fights. How do you approach a fighter with such experience? It's mad when you say, I, uh, I still at school, I think 2007, I think I left then. <laughs> um, I just believe in myself, man, I think I'm the better fighter. I know his experience, so I've got to give him a lot of respect and stuff, but the respect to go out the window in the ring and I'm lucky to put on a good performance and I think he's looking at him, little clips and stuff, he, his style suits me and I think it made me look good as well. Another thing with Signani, he's been out, there, I think it, we worked out it's exactly a year to the day when you two step into the ring since he last fought. We know he was meant to have that fight with Felix Cash back in April. It didn't happen. Uh, and he's also 44 years old. Do you think you'll catch him at the right time? Because as we all know and we've seen in recent times that Father Time catches up with everyone. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But um, I can't go into the fight thinking his age and stuff is that's the reason I'm going to win because I could be in for a shock. But um, I've been active, if anything. I've had a break which probably done me well since May because I fought November, February, and May, and it was a lot. Um, we tried to get the fight in May and then the fight in McGowan, then when the cash fight uh, fell through. So it could have happened then, but. Um, I felt a bit flat my last fight, I think I don't know if I've done too much or what, so it's all worked out well and hopefully, well, it will happen, I'll become European champion. In the UK, it's hard for anyone to have a better resume than you in the last 8, 12, 18 months. You know, it started with the, the win over River Wilson Bent, you went on then, you defeated Brad Ray, Brad Pauls, then you went on to Macaulay McGowan. It's all been showcased on Sky. How, good is it feeling that the best work so far of your career has been showcased on such a big platform? It's mad how it works out really and it all come off a bit of negative because I got a, a controversial draw with River the first time to say the least and while I was waiting for that rematch I think NEC lost Channel 5 then so then Sky and Boxer picked it up and ever since then um, I've been winning it's been great so it, it's all worked out well I've, from one little negative I've just made it into a positive and couldn't go no better for them fights to be on Sky as well. Biggest platform out there, even better. It's in a bit. <laughs> as you say, we were obviously said at the start you've gone straight past British title to European title. Um, it's weird to talk about with the British title. It's occupied by Denzel Bentley. He's now fighting Nathan Heaney on the same date, if, I, if I'm correct. And then it, the board has ordered him to fight Hamza Shiraz. So, with them two being under the same promotional banner, obviously Hams has also got the fight with Liam Williams. With them two being on the same promotional banner, did you see this as the British titles can be tied up again for the next fight and you had, you had to take your chance to jump out the European title? Yeah, I don't think them two was ever fighting each other, really. I think that's a bit of politics, do you know what I mean? Because um, obviously Frank's got them both. It's just the way it works, it's not nothing I'm bitter about. It. Yeah, he's got them both and. There was, I've seen interviews from Shiraz saying he, he was never fighting Bentley for the British. They want to try and build it up for a world title or whatever. Um, which is a bit annoying from like me who's waiting to fight for the British. But um, it is what it is. And, but 
if I had the choice out of European and British, I'd go for European anyway. So it, I'm happy, man. Is like, they can do what they do as long as I've got a path. Like I was, I wanted to fight for the British before. Not so much. I want to fight for the British. I was just, I just wanted to progress from the English, and um, I've done that tenfold uh, going for the European. So it, it's worked out well for me. A fighter we see on if anyone's seen your social feeds that you're very close with is also a European champion. He's fighting on the same day, Liam Davis. How special would it be, November the 19th, the two of you stood there with your blue European belts over your shoulder? Yeah, that's the plan, man, because he always takes a piece out of me as well, because I've won that EEU one, and you know what I mean, he's got the proper one, he just rips me every day in the gym, so I can't wait to get that, and I've told him I'm going to get that. It's a bit annoying that we're on the same day, though, we've got the same coach, and he's in Manchester, I'm in Wolves, but, so I can't go and support him, but... The next day, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get a picture together, two European titles. And I've come down to London with him today as well. He's got a press conference down here as well today. So, a bit of a nightmare, really. But as long as we both get the wins, that's the main thing. I could shut him up about all the piss decking he's given me. You've got to say, with his rise, it's quite similar to yours. You know, took the chance when he did. Then he's gone strength, 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 European title. Same's happened to you. Just It just goes to showing it, like, you know, just the opportunity comes, take it with both hands and you never know where you can see yourself in 12, 13 months. Yeah, 100%, man. And it's good training with each other. Like We've both got big fights on the same day as all this time. Normally, I think the last time was like a few weeks apart from each other. So then one guy's eating after the fight when the other guy's still doing all that and winding each other up. But yeah, he's done well, man. He's massive for Superman. He's as tall as me. I'd, um, I'll take the mic out of him saying that's why he's good because there's only three people at that weight. But... Um, yeah, it's, it's great for the gym, great for BCB, and it's going to be great for Boxer and uh, for Queensbury, both uh, European ch- titles. Of course, full focus going to be November the 18th for yourself, but is there another opponent or even another belt in mind for going forward? I know you're not going to think too much about it, it's going to be full focus, but surely is there something there for you? Um, not really. I think potentially you could think about, because I think Signani has got world ranking, so I could... Um, I could replace him in them, then you could start thinking. But until I get the win, um, I've, I've got to concentrate on that. Until I get that, then I'm in no position to call anyone out really for anything. Final one for me then. Any message to your sponsors or your fans or everyone coming out to support you, especially on November the 18th? Yeah, for the sponsors and stuff, SNR Construction, since I've gone full time with them, uh, that's what, that's, there's no coincidence. That's when I started getting these good wins and that as well. And uh, for the fans, I, the amount of people messing with me for tickets has been unreal. Like I said, I'm going to have to let some people down. I've told them I've got them tickets and uh, I don't know, I'm going to sort it out, but we'll find a way. But uh, thank you to everyone, man. Black Country is going to be on fire. Tyler, thank you very much for your time. We're all looking forward to one here in Il- Infiltrate by Sean Paul again, this time Wolverhampton, and then also see, hopefully seeing you lift the European title on November the 18th. Thank you very much.